This is lucky number seven of my favorite moto vloggers of 2022. These are the two hardest working motorcycle vloggers that I've seen for this year. There are two channels I choose to recognize and for totally different reasons. Please feel free to comment on your favorite channel in the comments section. There will be a link to the channel or channels mentioned pinned in the comments section. I would encourage you to visit these channels like and subscribe if you like them too. Bikes I Like or BIL comes from Australia and is, and is the most unique of all motorcycle vloggers I've seen out there. Not unique in the motorcycle, motorcycles he rides or the reviews. His uniqueness is what he provides that no one else, to my knowledge, does in their videos. Here's a typical example of one of the comparison videos he does. He lays out visually the lowest to the highest, the lowest being on the right, uh, right and the highest being on the left on cost. He will lay out the engine sizes from the biggest to the on the right hand side to the smallest on the left. By the way, he, as when he does this, as he talks about them, they move across the screen, so they'll stop at the, each one of the points, which is really kind of cool. He shows the horsepower from 2,000 RPMs to redline. And this allows you to see quickly and clearly the comparison. Again, he does these one at a time. He does the same thing with torque and foot-pounds and RPMs. The bikes skate across the screen, lightest to the heaviest and the heaviest being on the left and the lightest being on the right. This one is really cool because they all take off together and based on their horsepower and torque with a 200 pound rider how they would do in a quarter mile drag race and he does all these they leave at the same time. He gives the power to weight of each bike with a 200 pound rider with the best being on the right and the worst being on the left. He does the same thing with, with torque and weight. Yes, other vloggers can do a short list, and sometimes you'll see a, a list of the specs and stuff, but the time he takes and the detail, to put the detail in this, to show you visually how they, how they are in comparison to each other, um, it's just above and sets them apart. But wait, there's more. He does a series of Do I Fit videos, sometimes by, by a particular motorcycle review and sometimes in a comparison. He'll show how riders 5'3", 5'6", 5'9", 6'1", 6'4", would fit and look on a motorcycle. How they would look sitting on the bike, so you can see if, how much room they have on a seat. You can see the angle of their legs. You can see the reach to the bars. Then how they, then how they would look, uh, uh, with their legs down. Do they reach the ground because of the seat height, or are they a little short? I haven't seen this done by anybody else, and he's developed and executes this wonderfully in his videos. Yes, he does product views and goes deep in them to explain. He's a kind of a detailed person. In his comparison, he does specs, dimensions, and components. He does subject matter pieces. Although he's limited by the bikes that are available to him from where he lives in Australia, he does when he does a review, he takes it from the point of a potential owner. And that's a little bit different than some reviewers do. He has over 35.3 thousand uh subscribers in just over four years with 412 uploads i consider that very good but he's constantly fighting for more views and subscribers he's been trying additional platforms and it would be a shame a dirty shame to lose him and his unique motorcycle videos so give him a try that's bikes i like the next hardest worker on this video is revelator alf a Harley rider whose titles on his videos 
have apparently pissed off Harley Davidson both in England and the United States. And that alone would get him on my list somewhere. This guy has only been around for just over six years with 14,000 subscribers. So how many videos and live streams do you think he has done? Not 400, not 700, not 1,000, but 2,251. That's an average of one per day for over the last 76 months. That's some hard work and passion. And over a thousand more uploads than TMF, which is known to be a, a very prolific video. And he's been doing it for eight years longer. Revelator isn't bashful about stepping on a few toes. His titles of videos sometimes don't really reflect the balance he achieves in those videos. If you just read the titles, you could see why some in Harley Davidson and some Harley Davidson customers don't like him. But if you watch them, you can see he does treat the subjects reasonably, logically, and fairly. He does maintenance videos on his heroic Harley, as he calls it, and then tries then tries very hard to relate it to other bikes and other models. He does product reviews mostly on items he purchases, but some brave vendors occasionally send him some products to review. Alf could easily have been in the truth teller category too. He tries his hands at projects, but they tend to fizzle. Not for lack of skills, but because his focus and energy, his high level energy, keeps distracting him a bit and he moves on to something else. He rides his Harley around England and takes us in some points of interest. He rides his bike to work in the dark and on those miserable days. Recently he has per started doing uh, live streaming and taking questions. I like it, but I don't know if he's getting the attention they really want it. Revelator Al is working his tail off and clearly has a passion for motorcycles. He's putting himself out there every day. While I consider his channel successful, I have a sense that he isn't happy with the results he's getting, especially for all the work he puts in. And maybe he's not. If you are all interested in Harley Davidson, Revelator Al needs to be on your list. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.